Hey and welcome to today's pick a card reading. Today we are going to be picking a card for a deeper meaning of your most current vivid dream. The decks that I'm using are the Psychic Tarot of the Heart by John Holland, my Alice in Wonderland Oracle card deck by Lucy Cavendish, and a deck that I haven't used in quite a long time called Messenger Oracle by Raven Flan. So you have your choices between pile one, two, three, and four. And the crystals that I'm using for those, in case that you're drawn to a crystal, are green fluorite wand. Well, not just a green fluorite wand, but a fluorite wand. Pink rose quartz. And another pink rose quartz, but this one's a skull. And the clear quartz. So I'll give you just a moment to pick between which ones you'd like. If you need any longer, go ahead and take a minute to uh, pause the video. And we're going to jump right in. Oh, also before I forget, I'm also going to pull a rebel card for each one while I'm doing the reading for each deck. So, let's start. So if you've picked the fluorite crystal, we have some of these piles may have more cards than other, by the way. So we have embrace the dark, respect your boundaries. So with these um, two cards, I feel like there feels like a heaviness because I'm really drawn to how dark her gown is and how she's covering her heart and she has this look of like heaviness and the fact that you need to respect um, have people respect your boundaries, not just you, you to theirs. So, with that heaviness, I feel like, you feel like someone has been crossing a line that shouldn't really be crossed, and that it's really starting to burden and weigh you down, and make you feel very heavy-hearted about the entire situation, and it's really discouraging you. But know that there's light. There is light and there is hope for that. And if you are able to pull yourself out of that dark feeling and that heaviness and have, you know, clear boundaries for people to respect and draw the line in the sand where it needs to be drawn, then I feel like they'll listen to you. But you also get, because that's why I feel that the Lizard card came up, seek and some... Um, strengthening bonds for the Tarot. So with these three cards together, you need to take some time to yourself with the Seek card, because that's more like the Hermit card in this deck. And this is, I want to say the High Priestess would listen. So you need to get them to listen to you as much as you also need to listen to yourself with your inner guidance. And when you get them to finally listen to you, it'll strengthen your bond together. And the other two cards I have, such a curious dream, law is not justice. So the law is not justice, rules that are not fair. And then such a curious dream, grounding, returning to reality and coming home. So with this one, if in your dream, like you were feeling like something wasn't fair, because that's what um, the deeper meaning of your dream is for these ones, is that you feel unconsciously like in your dream like your dream was reminding you that you need to draw some boundaries and that you need to be able to express yourself so that you don't feel so um heavy and alone but you also need to weigh out the pros and cons of this situation because this dream has you really want thinking about okay well what should I do which way should I go and how can I be fair about this 
speak your truth because I'm really drawn to the color blue in this and the fact that it's justice always speak your truth and everything will be fair and an equal value and for your rebel deck advice let's see what we get This will also help you for an action to try and take and, you know, move forward with this. So, get over yourself, pull your shit together, help people give back, do good shit for humanity. So, with that card, I feel like, even though it tells you to pull your, get over yourself and to pull yourself together you're doing fine but you need to like I said draw that line in the sand and help others to understand where that line needs to be drawn and how clear that line is that you will not allow them to cross it so moving on for the rose quartz I know I'm doing this one a little bit different, but I feel drawn to it. So for these two cards, you get Seek Your Destiny, Stay Strong. <clears throat> so with this one, it's asking you to follow whatever your dream was urging you to do when you felt like you woke up and you, like how you felt when you woke up, because it's your inner knowing that's trying to guide you and your higher self. Because that's how I feel when I see this part of the card and the third eye um, depiction up there. And the fact that they're asking you to stay strong. Know that you have the strength to get through this. And that you are stronger than you actually realize. Because the dragon in this exudes power to me. And know that you have a loving energy and heart to do this. Because I'm really attracted to all the green. And it makes me think of the heart chakra. And we're going to dive a little bit further with the tarot. So with the tarot, I have open up, awaiting results, and simply love. So simply love in this tarot deck is the six of cups, but it's not depicted as a normal six of cups with the past and like a lover coming from the past. This one is more about simplifying the way things are from then to now is what I feel. And then what I also feel from this card is to approach things simply, just simply from the heart. Like I was saying before with those, with being in your heart center, but you need to open up just a little bit more. Like if you feel like you need to talk to people, about what's going on or like expressing what was going on in your dream. I'm sure you have a really close friend that you can do that with. If not, drop it in my comments below and I would be more than happy to help you with that. And the fact that you're awaiting results, they're asking you to have patience. And I've been getting that a lot today with different things, having, asking me to have patience, which is definitely a sign for me and a synchronicity. So with the last three cards, we have growing up, Wanting to grow in experience, rejection of potential youth or perpetual youth. So that kind of goes well with simply love from moving on from then to now. And the fact that you, you've changed, you know, you've changed, you feel it. And then the curious, curiouser and curiouser discovery, inquiry, weirdness, curiosity, and then lead the way is be a leader show others how it's done how can you help other well you can help others but i feel it's more like of a how can you help others so with because they they want you to lead the way they want you to be an example to help other people so with this the curiouser and curiouser you are still in the um process of discovering who you really are and what you're becoming and this dream is trying to help point that out to you and it gets you to expand your mind and think outside the box. 
because they want you to grow and learn from this experience. So if you keep having the same repeating dream, because I kind of have a feeling like it's also been a repeating dream for you, pay attention to it whenever you wake up, write everything down, and then the more you um, write, the more you'll remember all the detail, and then go back and look at it later, and that'll help you grow and expand as well, and to understand even further what this dream is trying to tell you. And then I'm going to pull a rebel deck card for you guys for that one. So that way you have kind of an action to take as well. That'll help you along your way. So what do they want you to know? Get some fucking sleep. Ha! <laughs> I couldn't even be more perfect and hilarious. It says, you are being an ass because you are fucking tired. Face to pillow now. Wow. Unbelievable. That is perfect for this reading. This entire thing even so. Because <laughs> it's a dream interpretation reading, which is hilarious. But I absolutely love this. So, that goes perfectly with what I was saying with this being a repeating dream and to pay attention to it and that when you wake up write everything down as much as you can and as detailed as you can and those details i promise you will flow the the more you write the more it will flow and then to go back reread it and then if you still feel it's not making sense and the dream repeats itself wash when wash rinse repeat doing the same thing when we wake up write it all down see what more comes out Add to whatever pages you had written down before. So, for those who chose the Rose Quartz Skull, let's see what you get. You hear my bird in the background. It's because probably someone left the room and she likes to squawk whenever someone leaves the room. So for these two cards, we have do not fear the unknown, seek the lesson. That's perfect for this one. If you chose this, you're here for a reason on this reading, and it's to find the deeper meaning of your dream that you've been seeking and trying to understand. So these cards want you to um, not fear, not have any fear for whatever this dream is trying to tell you because it's not, it's not going to hurt you. Even if it feels almost like a nightmare, it's still teaching you a lesson from what I fear. Um, feel, excuse me, yeah, fear. I understand that you have a lot of fear with it and that, you know, nightmares can scare you, but understand that nightmares can also be a lesson as well. And know that you can actually change those dreams if you're lucid enough. You get to control the dream, not the other way around. But it is trying to teach you a lesson. And it's asking you to also pay attention to the intuition because you have an insight of whatever this is that is trying to tell you you have a feeling and a thought so pay a, um, a lot of attention to that and we're gonna try and see what else we get with this so we have throat chakra sadness and isolation which is the three of swords in this deck and then base chakra so with this it's a very very deep-seated thing for you it's, it's a very very deep-seated issue that makes you feel sad and alone and isolated from others but what you need to do is speak your truth. You need to, because it's blocking your throat, throat chakra and being able to express yourself the way that you need to. And then with these three from the Alice in Wonderland deck, you get a moment's regret, nostalgia, ideal, idealizing the past. <clears throat> Sorry, it's a little hard for me to read these because the writing is really small. Fearing you've made a mistake. Do not drink poison. Do not do things you know are bad for you. God, I sound like I read absolutely horrible and I don't. It's just that I've never really looked at these cards before. And then keeping up immense effort and advance. So with these three cards, when I first saw this one, A Moment's Regret, 
I feel like this dream is trying to express not to dwell on things. Don't regret things that you've done in the past or actions that you did or didn't take. And it, you feel like almost like as if you're threading the needle with this. I, I'm not sure exactly what that means for you, but I'm really drawn to this needle being threaded with beads. And with threading the needle, I feel like it's more of, <coughs> excuse me, um, taking your time and things being really, really close and you trying to be careful with not hurting anyone or yourself for that matter. And that you've been trying to hurry up and keep up with things and wondering how long this is going to take or how long you'll be having this dream because in case it's on a wash, wash, rinse, repeat cycle, as I say, <laughs> if I could even say it, it's, it's not. Also with this card, when I seen it, I got the impression of don't that, it, um, excuse me, the expression of don't drink the poison and expect the other person to die because you're only hurting yourself by having these mo emotions and feelings of en envy and jealousy, which is really what I'm getting heavily from this card. And there's a lot of gossip, it seems, because I see this teapot and when someone says spilling the tea because the teapot is spilling out, it's all about like, you know, talking about gossip and spreading gossip. And that leads to also jealousy and hurting others. But the only thing you're doing really is hurting yourself. So this dream is probably trying to point that out and get your attention in a very odd and strange way. But like I said before, um, try and pay attention to everything that's going on in your dream. And then when you wake up, write everything down because that'll expand the meaning even further for you. So I'm going to pull a rebel card for these. I feel really drained. So I feel like this dream has been also keeping you up at night and making you feel like really, really drained during the day. Try not to let that do that because what it is, what it's doing is stressing you out and making you worry to the point where you're not getting adequate enough rest and being able to function and make the proper and right decisions for um, your daily tasks. So let's see what the rebel um, deck can give us to help you with getting through that and past it. So with the Rebel deck I get, you need a good fucking cry. Get the ugly cry on. Let that shit go. Your soul will thank you. So to me with this, these feelings of jealousy, stop feeling that way. Because the more you feel that way, the more you block your own abundance and you block your own blessings from coming in. So what they're asking you to do is to let it out, let it go. And if you need to cry, go ahead and cry because it's, it's perfectly fine to let things out in a process that way, because sometimes it may be the only way to get those feelings out and those emotions and the ang feelings of anxiety from what I get. So for those of you who've chose the clear course, this is the last pile. So let's see what we get. So the first two is be patient again, patience, patience, patience all day long. You were born to create. So for me, this actually resonates with my dream from earlier and how I've been feeling all day because I've kind of been feeling creatively stuck and trying to come up with ideas for new videos and whatnot and wanting to get my messages out there because I feel like I can do a lot of good and help people. And I feel like you guys feel the same way too for this, for those who have chosen the uh, clear quartz, because that's also the one I've chosen when I um, started this reading and that I felt most drawn to. 
So with the egg, I'm really drawn to new ideas and birthing them and pulling them into existence. And the shell is just starting to crack. So you're just cracking the surface and it, it's going to be amazing. I feel because all that light in there just wants to come flooding out and it, it's going to be like an explosion of awesomeness. I feel, and it's just, I, I just, I feel so much positivity coming from this. And all you have to do is just be a little patient and things will come in and happen on their own divine timing, but they're going to come in in a flash. Like it's just gonna out of the blue and it's just going to take off like a shot. And like, Oh my gosh, I just, I feel so much energy from that. And it just feels absolutely amazing. So this one, new vitality, speaking of new energy, this is the ace of wands in this deck. Like, Oh my goodness. This is just, absolute amazing. No, not the ace of wands. I'm sorry. This is the ace of pentacles in this deck, but regardless it's new beginning. It's new abundance. It's new, new things coming in. And this rainbow makes me feel like a lot of creativity because he's a musician in this deck and it's just, Oh man, let's, let's see what else we got. We have also the heart chakra and embrace with 21. So embrace is like, I believe that's the, the world card in this deck. Um, and heart chakra creativity from the heart and sharing your gift and embracing everything within you to bring that out. And that seed's going to grow because I'm really attracted to the seed with the heart and your creativity is just going to grow and expand. And it's just going to, it's going to be beautiful. I promise you. And you're going to be able to share everything you want with the world. So whatever this dream you're having is pretty awesome. And it's really trying to get your attention with new creative things coming in. You being able to express yourself finally and fully. So with the Alice in Wonderland deck, we have follow your own good advice. <laughs> that could not be more perfect for this reading. I promise you. <laughs> this is trust yourself. You know what is best for you. Find the lesson why you're here. This is a way to get a deeper meaning and, you know, dive deeper into the um, dream and what it's trying to tell you. Discover the purpose in a situation. Trust that you are learning. And then uncertainty. Choose who you become. I get and understand that you don't know what's happening and it feels like it's taking forever and you're constantly stuck in your head like, oh my God, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do to make more forward movement? And don't let those toxic thoughts cloud your mind and cloud your thoughts because that's what I'm getting from this bug with this mask on and the smoke It's because it's, it's toxic to you. It's not helping you and it's blocking you from moving forward and actually really understanding and learning the lessons that are coming from this dream and getting you to listen to your guides and your friends. And even if, if you believe in them, the angels around you, because that's what I feel like she's trying to listen to the older people and also her friends as well over here and taking all that advice for guidance and which way to go and to understand how she's supposed to be, what she's supposed to do and what actions to take next. And then follow your own good advice. Like seriously, listen to your intuition. This honestly couldn't be more perfect even for myself. And it's hilarious to me that this came out and I love that my cards communicate to me like this because it's trying to snap me into reality and to get out of my own head, which is what I was saying before about this card, because I've been stuck in my head and my own thoughts lately. And those thoughts are clouding my judgment and being very toxic for me. So what we need to do is also, Remain patient as well and just sit there, drink our cup of coffee or our tea, wake up and just listen to ourselves at the end of the day. And that's what this dream is also trying to express to you and get you to do is follow your own guidance. You can do this. You are awesome. You are amazing. So let's see what the rebel deck has to say as well to help you forward. Let me get these out of here first real quick.
What do we most need to know to help us move forward? Woo. Get the fuck out of your head. Wow, what did I just say? Seriously? Before with this reading, to get out of your own thoughts, don't let those thoughts cloud your mind. Get in your heart space. It misses you. Freaking perfect. Absolutely perfect. This could not go any better with this. I, I swear to God, this is just, it's, it's making me feel so happy and giving me so much energy and joy. Like, I'm just, I feel so intense right now. And I really hope that, that it's making you feel really intense too. And like, this happiness is just exuding. Like, seriously, everything is coming in. I promise you. And it's coming in quick. It's coming in fast. All you got to do is stay out of your head. Just stay out of your head. And everything will just right into existence faster than you, you can even blink your eyes, think, spit, whatever you want to call it. It's coming and it's going to be awesome. So with that, if you guys have stayed and watched the entire video, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Comment below. Let me know how these resonated for you. And I love you. Please like subscribe and share if you enjoyed this video. And also you can come back and rewatch it over and over and over and over and over and pick a different crystal each time. And the messages will still probably resonate with you no matter how many times you've watched this and you'll probably get your own insight from looking at, looking at each of the cards. So thank you. And